suppose for Duam. So it's a shame that we they go through this kind of democratic decline, a country where the hell has been able to put themselves on the trajectory of post-conflict reconstruction, a country we don't hail for say we don't conduct two successive elections, governments don't change hands from SLPP to APC, from APC to SLPP, for where political analysts then believe say, whenever this situation happen in countries, especially in post-conflict states, is a value because it is sure say democracy don't consolidate. But for now we can get um, a mission report where systematically they outline the democratic regression before concern. And I want to use this opportunity repeatedly for say, yes, we've been done the call for this, but we voiced and done the drown in political party uh, 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 um, people that were done the all over social media and the radio, they say things they were not right. But then now, it's a shame that an international community, yes. and this is European Union. I just want to make people they know say, when we they talk about electoral reforms, we've been getting a number of agencies, international missions. There was the Commonwealth, there was the Qatar Center, there was ECOWAS at the sub-regional level, there was the African Union, they all been there in country, backed by the observation of domestic elections observer group. And all their recommendations, they are they all tie in. So their recommendations, yeah, so not to European Union, no more make them. Okay. Their recommendations, they have been made across the board, by a wide range of elections observation missions. Okay, we continue did. for day with you, Marcela Samba, CC Executive Director, um, Director National Elections Watch. We they come back to you inside the program. The program, Good Morning Salon, they continue. We will look um, later at the program into the details of the list and findings, them, but largest just being come, Reverend James Elahai inside. We just don't listen to um, Marcela, we don't make mention of, say, the civil society community. Um, and I receive this as a disgrace and shame for let the international community come back to Salon for can reiterating them where initially the civil society organizations then be done they make mention of but um, we not see much way be done towards that angle day. And as much as we don't describe them as a shame, let's look at the issue we get for do it. Salon the practice a democracy. Now whose kind signal this they send to the kind of democracy where Salon they practice currently? Well, um, me consider I'm also see that a blessing that this is happening at this time. And the one that we suppose for act on the issues raised, what would they see for be their reactions? And so it able guide we in which strategy we will therefore engage for approach the observation of the 2023 elections. Because this is like telling us this, 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 this are what we have observed. You need to do this, 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 and you will be in the right place. And those who are the duty bearers, who should be acting on this information, now they're busy, the crisis. They're not saying not correct to. Okay? Why not now then they talk? If they talk now, does it make it wrong? And they said they do and so, they do and so. Does that make it correct? Now that they should be busy to see how they can reverse these things and make us appear to the world as decent people, they are busy saying, then do after day, they not talk. Now, now, then they talk. Yes, we they talk now. Every time the circumstances now they determine whose approach we not get for take. For we, as National Election Watch, we also don't begin for do pre-election assessments before every by-election where they happen. We've not been doing that before. So we go for can't talk, say, why not now? Then they do pre-assessment, uh, 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 election assessment. Let me tell you, we started it with the, 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 the by-election in Tonkolimba. Then do election, 
first for door, then kill Pussy inside it. And then, then declare a date for a rerun of that election without going into that community and find out what the issues are. Now, then they be make we say, we will start doing pre-assessment visits. We went there and we realized that if stakeholder engagements had not taken place before that election, it was going to be a massacre if they had attempted to go and do those do that, that election. All right, Chevela, just a little and, break. Let me take commercial break. Then after the break, we will come back to you for continue for talk about the issues that we don't begin with. The program Good Morning Salon Day continue, Reverend James A. Lahai, National Coordinator for New. Been the talk just now. We will come back to you. Let me just take a short break. Salon Commercial Bank don't come with new banking products them for make life easy. With Million Online Bank and Million Mobile App, you can able for use Salon Link money transfer for send money to anybody in let you not get bank account. Transfer or receive money na the same bank or any other bank. Transfer money to person or office in let you not get your account number. Buy extra light. Pay other bill them and now get advanced salary. You don't need for worry again about almost money then you earn. Because you can able for pay for things the way you buy in a supermarket and other shop them with the quick response code payment. Your bad don't done for we boss man them. With Vion Online Direct, you can upload salary, pay all your supplier them, sell forex to Salon Commercial Bank and watch your account anytime. If you need the app, download them from Google Play Store or any Apple Store or go to Salon Commercial Bank website www.slcb.com Sierra Leone Commercial Bank Delivering God One minute after 8 and the time from the studio clock we they come back to Reverend James A. Lahai the National Coordinator for New if they make mention of issues them we they don't monitor so far we get to do with elections and how that could affect and unbog salon democracy we they talk about the issue we get to do with the Tonko Limba by election will be happening issues them will be come out from there but as um at the taken from that QD when I don't monitor different elections we don't, don't get findings we can discuss and I have any response can come out from different elections management body them and self overhaul at times we can get government representative them we can respond to some of them concerns here we can come out from una like civil society like new we don't they observe elections the response them we don't they get from different election management body them and overall from something the government on a thing say they don't they take issues them on don't they raise over the years as serious as it's supposed for be then they become deaf to the point that they're not here again and when you explain now in the town like a they use the cock more, and it is dangerous. Let I explain gi una when una they do elections pre-assessment waiting it involve. You know they manufacture findings. You they go into the community, engage various stakeholders. Anybody will get something for do with the issues, get their opinion. Ask them back for recommendations. What you feel say go happen where that thing they not go be. And the same thing can happen. That thing will come, not can manufacture anything. They engage various stakeholders in the country, including the duty bearers. They even meet the president. And after all them consultations and engagements, they come out with waiting at the findings. And let me tell you, let nobody not deceive himself say when we observe we findings, we get for can discuss and with you first. For let you guide, we say, no, this impulse and they because not be mistake we make it. No. The period where we want for you read that, not the time of engagement with you. When will they discuss the issues? Where you say self they tell we say, now this, now this, now this. And when you they talk back. The one where they left, where you know they talk through body language, would they pick all? So, and um, at that day, they inform whatever press release would they pull. So, when you start for talking, so much emphasize, say, then they don't do one before. Is it that you think, say, the authority then now they feel, say, on a presence previously, no, they don't come out like how they come out so strong? Now, they make the difference before maybe new, no, they come out and take them kind of stand here yeah, for talk about things that when a lapses to democracy. It's just being dishonest. And insincere to 
their consciences. Who now are we are now? We they be the labor we see. We now SLPP. There not be the labor we know also from the blue so. Oh, that be the now labor now. That ten day na 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 APC be the labor labor we that ten. They are in government. You see, this thing is like a musical chairs, and they are disadvantaging themselves. They don't even know. When you allow the wrong things for begin happen, but I don't know what's happened with politicians. They know they even read between the lines. This was the same posture of APC. They felt they were going to remain in power forever and ever. And so those things that they should correct, they failed to correct them, which is what is haunting them now. They want them now corrected, but those who the thing was against, uh, it is now in favor of them. So they are now protecting it. Failing to note that they will not be there forever. The and now, now they are not trying to put the wrongs right so that everybody will be fine at the end of the day. We, the citizens, are the victims. Because it's like a vicious circle. Let me give you this example. The issue of the, 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 the constitutional review. This was a very strong advocacy instrument of the SLPP in their New Direction Manifesto. Which was not going to cost a, 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 a referendum or this or that to come out with a white paper and inform this country about the decisions of government with regards to those recommendations. And please, uh, 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 one minute. At the, the recently concluded conference, when NEC called on election observer missions, the recommendations, the Deputy Attorney General and Minister of Justice boldly talked at that conference, say, Cabinet don't conclude the white paper on those recommendations. And he give we confidence that that conference, say, as the President come back so, that white paper will be made public. And that the white paper take on board or agree to over 95% of the recommendations from the CRC. So we, what is happening? That we, the president okay it? We, we will go back for a look at the issue we get for do with um, this press release we come out from the EU election follow-up mission. One thing we not seem to come out clear yet from the election management body, the way they make mention of now the press release we them pull, we get for do with the significant decrease we them sit on the pan trust from salon people in their institutions. Then, yeah. Now, as to reason why the salon people and women talk to being give that kind of response, they say they don't they lost trust in their institutions and they, they make mention of the police, judi judiciary, neck, PPRC, and other one, they wouldn't say, etc., etc. Et but from Una, we don't they monitor elections. Tell salon people them, waiting at some of the things, we Una don't observe, say they happen, now their institutions, see yeah, we make people they lost trust in them. Especially we defend ourselves in a critical situation. Just now, we get for do with the 2023 elections. And if trust not in the institutions, how they manage the elections, how it will get for come out? Waiting at some of the triggers, then we want to don't see. We are calls for the people and lost trust. Maybe I go use we election pre assessment of the Koenadugu district by elections will take place. We go do a pre assessment of the political environment before the elections. And we came out with a press release outlining our findings and what actions must be taken to ensure that that election was free from violence, it was transparent, accountable, and credible. Now, only PPRC respond to the thing they will raise by coming out with a press release for say, you will not get business. Nakwenadugu district, don't go there. The police did not act. NEC did not act. Those who should take action did not. And the very things we said would happen if they do not take those actions were the things that happened. So why won't I cannot foresee some of the danger or violence we can happen in a certain um, elections, whether in a by-election or so? On a can go to the authority, the way for ensure say the election be peaceful, fair, and also not get any doubt. They're not can really consider some of the things that we want to outline, despite on an institution where they represent the interest of the public. 
Yes, very interesting. But I tell you, now make what we tell the other road ramp, we we'll come back and tell the public that we we'll tell them say this, this, this go create problem. Oh, you know, so they do that, they don't want to let them call them and tell them things as what they do. The way that they respond to this particular press statement from the EU delegation, don't tell you say they want to refine fine things there but themselves, but they are doing otherwise. So now you make what they not want, who they talk just like whatever I said. We are just one and the same, we are election observers, okay. they're not all real. All right. So we continue to say it. Okay. Okay, Reverend James Ela, I continue for the week between the program. Let us just quickly bring Marcela Samba Sese inside. Um, the other day we've been getting the judiciary, the communications head in the studio, they talk about the same issues here. We get for do with this um, release where they look at. And one thing where they really cite out, get for do with the replacements, um, they make example of the replacement of the MPs them, we, after the election, we've been seeing the decision we've been come out in the court. For democracy in the salon, waiting the Representative they talk here um, on Monday, the, from the judiciary, he said they been do this as part of precedence when they said they don't other government they don't set in 2002, in 2012. Sorry. So from that then kind of precedence here, if we see judiciary for example, they continue with then kind of precedence here. What is it for mean for salon democracy? Maybe you know when you did draw inference to that interview there from the head of communication for the judiciary. It just show the, the degree to which the judiciary, the concerns for the judiciary day. That was not the representation of the judiciary when we go proud of for my country. And I think, say, it will be good for let the judiciary look inwards, that kind of representation. If that was what they put together to respond to the statement, I am afraid, say, we get a long road with the judiciary in this country. We are calling for moments of reflection. Removing 10 MPs from parliament is wrong. If not a precedence that we want lay for a democratic track, we with man called trajectory. Now, a democratic track that one day said that we possibly make one bad decision, we could can't complement them by making 10 wrongs. That democratic track they will bring we don't as a country. You no know, good. But we don't say this over and over. This to me, I do you, they destroy this country. It they destroy, we add one democracy. People need to understand, say, this democracy, yeah, so people die for them. August 18, we were part of the students who were marching down to Freetown. That is enough, is enough. This was for done. Me not be student leader. People die for them. So people want to see a situation where peace and stability go day, let them go understand so we life go go before. It's too much of this. It's too much of this. The judiciary in any society for able for organize themselves, for able for institute in an independent manner justice and adjudicate on the matters. Let me tell you, this um, electoral legal reform all they talk so is spanned from the electoral offenses, the petitions them were going at the court of justice at this country. The electoral offenses, 285 cases now reach the court. That's not only one that we tap in a police station, no. the one that we actually reach the courts. Almost get conviction five. All the other ones, then, then to where? They say lack the necessary ingredients for letting them prosecute those matters. You know what they do with the talk is? It brings impunity on these issues. Where people then go, then go scatter ballot box in the eyes of the law enforcement officers. Nobody they know arrest. People then go, they match stealthily, ride in a coin, then burn ballot boxes. Nothing they not do. Now, the situation they get worst. And when they say no, enough for be so. Justice. In fact, you talk, man, and say, we think justice delays, justice denied. This thing, we don't need international for cancel. I make a say it's a shame to the one that really had those institutions. It's a shame to the advisors. Because all the politicians, them, they are politicians. They don't understand some of these things. But you win a professional. You then have the legal system. You don't go through 
robust education. You don't go through law school. You know there is also the aspect of ethical conduct in all of this where public office forget. You know, say whenever you do that thing are so wrong, you they breed aggrieved people in the society. Then you they continue for doam. That is not the posture we want. There's been a lot of investments, post-conflict investments in the judiciary because it's the hope of transformation of the society. If Sierra Leone for transition to peace, we should have the necessary institution where they guide we for be stable within that so, peace so like institution. So for... the judiciary, the police, and the National Electoral um, Commission and the Political Party um, Registration Commission, now four critical bodies, then that one day we will help for stabilize this country in with democracy. So if we take the judiciary, for example, then can talk of um, different reforms and when they say don't happen this BNTM. They don't make sure say they don't able to reach out to side areas and we not be get magistrates and judges and do other things them we according to them then believe in our reforms and then they we go up for capacitate them for improve on the justice system now the country but from civil society perspective now waiting and still they miss we make people forget perception say the judiciary for example still they take some decision them where they affect the overall justice system in fact the question you can just turn and into answer the decisions where then they take where they affect the overall justice system this is the problem this is the problem. In a society where, for example, the constituents, the people, they call on the will of the people. Now in a ballot, the will of the people. They may say, inside me, at, oh, they do this head of uh, 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 um, media house election, and maybe I want, inside me, at, I don't go put ballots for them. That may be the will of the people. Mm -hmm. It touches my emotion. I lack like maybe. Now I make a put on my own candidates that one day. The constituents then don't go put them candidates. When they don't go put them candidates, the court said there were legal issues with regards to candidates. Mm -hmm. Democratic rights presuppose that that constituency, they run and back. Let the people now they get the mandate. Let them can express their will back if there is, if there is an issue. Now, the courts go institute 10 MPs there. Now, courts okay. do that kind of decision. This is the decision that is affecting the state. And as, as, as they say, we don't need external person for can tell. We say we don't plant a democratic wrong now with society. We will haunt this country, you know, in generations to come. Okay. It is wrong. It is wrong. It is wrong. We have said it. So all the way they say they want evidence. Let me say this now. Because I've been following the discussions. They say they want evidence of who they talk to. Okay. You don't need evidence. The evidence is there. And these people, if you are a government official and you're asking for evidence, where are you when all these things were happening? You are the same civil union states governing the state. Why they can't say who they talk to? Look at all the national elections right. watch press releases. Okay. Look at all the outlets, the credible media institutions that we don't they discuss these issues. Evidence on the okay. Come... The ten MPs we are not we are ten MPs not removed from uh, um, the, the Sierra Leonean Parliament. Whose evidence clear past that one day? So like we reference say, let's be honest to ourselves. This is the time for reflection in advance for the 2023 elections where a lot of people don't say, hey, Marcella, this 2023 election go tangao. Now we don't get this report. They're not only, I mean, the kind of discourse where they happen at the national level, it don't escalate to the international level on this matter. Let's come to the right. table and see how we forge ahead for address some of the issues here with detrimental to the Sierra okay. Union state. Okay, continue for the way to in name na Marcela Samba Sisi, and the executive director for new inside the program this morning. We they look at new them position on the European Union election follow up mission and findings and recommendation them where they pull out we get for those some institution them we responsible for support election process them now the country. Now we go for a break now the program. Because money easy for loss, like how we easy for broke egg. You self not for life you come for business. So people they will not sabi and one day we get ben ben. Union Trust Bank get all the correct and master sabi people them for help make you couple better. We na Union Trust Bank. Timap Tranga. So your money go go fine with no wahala. And you no go get we kind service no other side. Make good use of we SMS alert where they show you your money transaction. Enjoy we internet banking services for check your accounts. Seth, you can visit we website 
on www.utb.sn for no more but we order plenty products and service them. Now Union Trust Bank, excellence now with one card. Union Trust Bank, the force and true true Salomon Bank. The program Good Morning Salon, they continue, and we will bring this um, Wednesday edition come to you this morning. Me, it's up to you, Kalon. And Mabel Kaba. We will continue the program, and now we look at one of the headlines to read them. The United Nations will pick November 2nd as, in, as the International Day to End Crimes for Impunity Against Journalism. We are there with the protect journalism during the term them with the work. For sake of this, make the Sierra Association of Journalists and the security sector don't sign one memorandum of understanding. With this, and for make journalists them get safe space for do the work. This make the president for the Salon Association of Journalists, Hamed Sahid Nazgala, the ask the security sector for make journalists them get safe space for do the work. Because it's a different attack on journalism, they undermine democracy, the rule of law, and the fight against corruption in the country. Well, Karifa to counter be the part of this and will now report. People believe, say, journalists them get role for playing a society, for getting to democracy and free speech, and any time more than they do their work, then for be free, we make the United Nations, don't they celebrate the International Day to End Impunity for Crimes Against Journalists. Where this day, now one way they raise awareness for protect journalists them, they're in the same way then they do their work. We make the Salon Association of Journalists and the security sector go sign one memorandum of understanding. With this, now for make journalists them get safe space for do their work. Umar Fofana, now the first ten president and the Salon Association of Journalists, talk about the purpose of this MOU. The purpose of the MOU is to set forth certain commitments by the parties in relation to their roles and responsibilities in our democracy. In the spirit of working together in the interest of the general good, we commit to the following values in the discharge of our duties. One, our political or non-partisanship. Two, neutrality. Three, independence. Four, professionalism. And five, objectivity. We further commit to the following. Both parties shall work together to do no harm and protect people at risk. Respect each other's professional values, needs, and requirements. Shall ensure the public's rights to information. Shall stand together to strengthen the fundamental importance of media freedom and law and order for the security, prosperity, and well-being of all societies. To create and maintain an environment where media freedom can thrive. To sensitize media and security workers about each other's roles and responsibilities. Ensure an environment conducive to freedom of expression, access to information, and other fundamental freedoms. Inside Yung Talk, the president for the Salon Association of Journalists, Ahmed Said Nazgala, do ask the security sector for make journalists them get safe space for do their work because in say the different attack on journalists them, they undermine democracy, the rule of law, and effects against corruption at the country. Attacks on journalists undermine democracy, they undermine the rule of law, and the fight against corruption. Journalists must have a safe space to operate despite the dangers that come with the terrain. The security sector must guarantee safety and ensure protection of journalists during and after presidential, political, and other events, and especially before, during, and after national elections. Therefore, on this day, Sludge continues to appeal to the government and its agencies to empower journalists by giving them a safe and secure atmosphere to do their job without any hindrance or interference. That is why today we are holding this round table dialogue with the security sector to start working together to addressing these challenges. Engagement like this are essential for the responsible maintenance of law and order on the one hand and for ensuring the safety and security of journalists and media workers all times and the world. Without law and order, society will be chaotic and the work and life of journalists will be seriously threatened. And continue to say the security sector for train journalists then so that they go protect themselves when they do story about election, protests, political rally and other one them. But this partnership should not be only about violence or attacks against journalists. We are looking to work with the security sector, police, and military for training of journalists for covering conflicts. We do not want the military to teach us how to fire arms or dismantle bombs. We want the military to teach us how to balance the bullets in those situations, how to avoid being shot in the back 
when we try to get that back because we are doing a protest for political right that has gone ugly. We need to learn how we can protect ourselves in situations of civil conflict, how we can learn basic survival skills. All of these will help improve the atmosphere within which we work and make life easy for even security forces type situations. Abulai Kolka, now the acting national security coordinator, now the office of the national security, don't assure say the security sector go make the media get access to information. The security sector will always avail itself to ensure that the media have access to information as long as it is not injurious to peace and it does not impede on national security. But let me state here that it is the responsibility of the security sector to ensure the preservation of the peace, law and order in society. The media has a corresponding responsibility too. They are to serve as watchdogs in society, similarly so. Both the media and the security sector play a complementary role to each other, such that we are able to consolidate our hard on democratic credentials of this country. As we are approaching the electionary process, we especially entreat the media not to resort to misinformation, disinformation that will heighten the insecurity in this country. Wait in the talk, the Inspector General of Police, Ambu Sovola, say journalists them for support the security sector by way of the report on national issue where they promote peace and democracy in a salon. As the fourth estate to support the security sector, for example, of recent, a whole lot of publication with regards to, if I may go, Kecha Kecha, what, what have we done? To denounce those, with all those rumors are around the social media, there is no one single outer report in any of the police stations across the country reporting of kidnapping. But you, our partners, have not supported us. I'm sure with the event of this MOU, we will be able to understand so that the good and benefit for this country will be achieved through our collective and collaborative efforts. And with Sovola end up a short sludge say, the Salon police they work with journalists then. So that's go get them to democracy and free speech in the country. For the society, for ready democracy, Mina Khalifa to consider the report. All right, the program Good Morning Salon, they, report, they continue, and from that report, they will carry far to content put together with the Gona Parliament quickly. Also, a member of Parliament, them Tuesday, November 2nd this year, after some amendments, we then grief, then grief for make the Salon Student Loan Scheme Act 2021 turn law. We don't give government the power for give loan to students, them, where they get challenged for paid and fees and self get access to tertiary education. We go make the able land book. Princess Pierce, now we parliamentary reporter, Egona reports. The Salon Student Loan Scheme Act 2021, now loan where the government of Salon will begin use for get to students them. We want for access to tertiary education, but they get challenged with couple for land book. And save the loan scheme, they serve as support to the student granting aid. And this loan, now one where the Minister of Technical and Higher Education, Professor Alpha Tijanwui, we don't go with them na parliament. Osa ebi do the first and second reading. And member them na parliament. Bring we for send this act and the legislative committee. For me they look inside them and make some change them before it's on law. But waiting be come out to the committee. Honorable Mario Conte, na the chairman na the legislative committee, been submit the reports. Osa ebi talk about some of the change them where they make. The short title will be amended by adding an apostrophe S to the word student to now read the Sierra Leone Student Loan Scheme Act 2021. Clause 1, interpretation, that the definition of the word guarantor be inserted in the interpretation section to mean a guarantor is a person who is meaningfully or gainfully employed and can provide collateral engagement to pay for debt slash default miscarriage of a borrower. Clause 3 1, Board of Trustees be amended by deleting the whole clause 3 1 and inserting a new clause 3 1, where a borrower defaults in repaying a loan for three consecutive months. The Board of Trustees shall send notice to make payment to the borrower or guarantor at their last known place of abode or address and publish twice in a widely circulated daily newspaper and other media outlets. The committee unanimously decided that penalties should be created for offenses 
in the case of non-compliance. As the bill be they go through committee stage, concern them for member of parliament them, not be different from the last concern them. We get for do it how the students them get for payback. The guarantor, the board of trustee, how much are the loan which students them for get, how many students will benefit and plenty other issue them. And the interest rate for payback when at two percent that been concerned during the debates we make the house be go into votes. Chairman, I remember. I move that plus 19A, dealing with the interest provision, be guided by this honorable house by not being above 2%. It does not insert any percentage with regard to interest on the loan in the bill. Those are kids in need. The amendment to the student loan scheme being take but seven hours was a member of parliament them but they look through the bill page by page and make some change them. After all the time we member of parliament them take for look inside this bill and with the concern them all the way they raise, the speaker be later put the question to the house if they for agree for this bill. Honorable members, the question is that the bill and tax is the new student loan scheme fund act 2021. Be read the third time and pass into law. All those in favor say aye. Those against say nay. The eyes have it. Have it. After we member of parliament them be don't go for this bill, the Minister of Technical and Education, Professor Alpha Tijan Wui, been get this for say. This is really the day. You have shown extreme concern for students of Sierra Leone as they progress from secondary school. But you should note in Sierra Leone, as I speak, only 4% of women have education above secondary education. And only 8% of men have education above secondary education. It is time that we give a major change, a major drive, a major what is a push for a larger number of people to access technical institutes, communities, communities, all the techniques. We have done this mission plan during this time to ensure come the following year our students will have the opportunity. As this bill launch on law, we will give priority to disabled students them. And students that will pop a smack, make the chief executive officer for disability confidential, Honorable Julius Kofi, say this loan scheme for be free for disabled students them. This um, um, particular law for emphasize all within the other laws them, the Education Act of the 1990s, the Education Act 2004 and the Persons with Disabilities Act. See, education for persons with disabilities, Natasha institution, whatever Natasha institution, it will be free for emphasize and but not to foresee and um, for give priority to persons with disabilities. In other words, they try for reverse all within the other acts they don't see. And the issue of um, 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 collateral coming side. If disabled people then belong to the poorest of the poor, would I go able to provide collateral for loan for disabled people? Then? So these are the issues. As all this, they been a parliament, member of parliament, them been suspended to debate them. We get for do with the biometric property registration project and the Environment Protection Agency Act 2021. For Radio Democracy, Princess PRC reports. We are picking for discharge today, but we are not paying the money yet. Doctor, give me your number. I don't send now. Alex, I don't give you the number for send our in fees. I don't send now. How much the big bag is? Now, 320,000. 
I'm not getting the full cash now. Yeah. Now for Senam. Senam? What in the Senam we all man they talk about? You let for your real Mary. Senam now go kill the Ecopo service. This one fast pass to save gold. With the Ecopo, you go send and receive money to anybody, any sign of saloon, simple one. The person no need forget bank account or internet. Even if they bought phone you get, they go receive cash money, easy one. With the Ecopo, you go buy something, any sign of saloon, and the person will go buy, go cash them, simple one. You go use Ecopo, any sign where you see this sticker. With the Gokel Bank, mobile banking, just don't easy. Ecopo, Senam. <laughs> Confusion. But this confused me, boo. Look where Uncle Nat in wall solid. Look him block them with them pitch for them. Where they self solid. And that is the same amount of cement and sand sand that they use for beat me on. But look what it do happen. Me wall down for them. All the block them all don't scatter. It all like some kind of magic they behind this. You want to know the magic behind this? Now the superior quality. Extra strong, extra life, and extra yield cement we are the use. And that's not Dangote, 3x Portland limestone cement. Dangote cement, na the highest grade cement in the country. When a 42.5 R grade cement, when no one day come na this country. And a one of the highest grade pan cement, where you go get na the wall. Where you want your concrete, wall, and block solid, use Dangote 42.5 R cement, you no go regret them. You go get Dangote 42.5 R cement na all the shop and building material store na the one old country. The program Good Morning Salon they continue and inside the program today we they look at new them position on the European Union election follow-up mission, then findings and recommendation them. We talk about institutions them like the judiciary, NEC, police, PPRC, and other one them. Where them findings they are should say people not get to expand the institution they are. And now we they come over to we studio guest them. We get Matela Samba Sise, executive director new, and also we get Kevin James Lai, a national coordinator new. Before we go for the break, um, Matela, you really talk about um government reaction in terms of where they ask of the sources we didn't get. That's the different people when you talk to, we make the able to put them findings here together. So far, government to address this issue. What you will say about government reaction and the address on this particular issue? Okay. Um, one of the things, Sam, I listened to His Excellency in interview na CNN, and one of the things that we felt positive, I like what it is, we say, we would engage. I think that's the starting point for every um, Sierra Union right now on this issue on this particular issue around democracy elections and good governance. So we'll engage, he say I inherited a bad police and bad judiciary, just to paraphrase in statements na um, CNN. Mm. So in actual facts, we get for begin thing. What's the happy will police and the judiciary they act this guy way. So you change Monu to Moibe to Sovula in order for making no difference until the police understand say then they serve the society. Now since this is democratic policing and they get forget the efforts for the one. They get for help for build peace in the society. The same with the judiciary. You think say for change the chief justice for drive you know what we're doing is instituting their institutions they are letting be the regime serving agencies what we call state capture you know for happen their institution they are so now they for create fairness because politicians in themselves democracy is very competitive say what you mean but good governance now now they can after now for promote strong institutions now for promote people that within are the driving seat we will able for lead the institution they are less stability and growth than at the state all the things that we will about investments then will only happen if the country get peace so how salon go respond to the issue we get for do its blame game and how government they can inherit situation when they can meet because Whenever a change of government happens, you bring come the new administration and go send the blame back to the old administration. Other one come, it go repeat itself again. 
as salon now, how we go against the issue of them blame gaming them the way we don't hear it, of how government inherits in company. The president we already say this sound un unfortunate um reports we come out because they say they may don't engage the EU's them um, after we them been pull the EU after we them been pull and finance them. But this is described as unfortunate and uh, as we stated earlier, a blame the waiting he been inherit again. How salon for against the issue of Blame so um, first and foremost, let us go back as far back to the Truth and Reconciliation Commission report. We tell we say let us get a constitutional review process because the 1991 Constitution. I don't say this a number of times. A number of institutions don't say this. A number of other individuals don't say this. On and on. The 1991 Constitution not able carry with democracy. It's not a democratic constitution. You're not going to use a constitution where make inside a one party system. Use them inside democracy. So part of building the peace, we need to get a very strong and robust constitution with the carry with, with, with democracy. So, but we see successive governments they don't get the courage for not get uh, um, constitutional reforms. And a very important, very progressive things then go happen if we help for make that constitution. They uh, um, look at. The process we we'll need for put in place. Now the constitutional review process they go on. Who do I know what's in the inside the white paper? Who do I then talk to? Did we have a statement to say now so we want for do this what? Nothing. So let me exactly as I say, let the government try for use this opportunity for reflect and let we see how we could progress. Now these issues have come to the fore. Let we hear it from the constitutional review. And the second issue we maybe I'll ask, but waiting for happen because we will see this blame game on and on. We get for manage the transition properly. I think say for the most part, politicians they now all waiting and they do ninety percent are for appeal to their support base. Waiting me supporter then go say waiting me supporter because we as Sierra Leonean people self we not able for drive who saw one for the country go. We want for see. Um, unhealthy competition within the political parties, they all the time. So they really want for energize their support base. Anything where they do their statements, the way they make the public very divisive, and they want for energize their base. But they get for understand that there is more to Sierra Leone than the two political parties. Yesterday, I tried for look at a quick analysis of the two parties, them on who that they actually vote in 2018. In 2018, about 3 million, a little over 3 million voters. For them, two political parties, they are they are in the one of one day about one million two hundred and something, the other one day about one million three hundred and something. So at every given time, from both sides, it's about 12 13 percent. But we get the bulk of Sierra Leoneans and picking their no votes. People and they were not participating in the elections. So you get a bulk of Sierra Leoneans there. We know they're part of this divide where they talk about. So any government for able to take that bold step there and come off from this political, excessive political divide. Democracy, very important. Why elections are competitive, democracy you get for build consensus. So in as much as the issue don't come out, say most of the lapses here and most of the institutions they are not to something we don't happen now. It don't did it for a long time. You know things say the authority them were in charge for make the reform here, that government directly need a step in the right time for ensure say whatever reform they they make, then for do them according to the necessary procedure them. Absolutely. In fact, the Sado for CCA, why should they fetch for reform the judiciary and police? Next, Seth Wanka add. Me, I go appeal to neck. I don't talk, say, um, democracy, free, fair, and credible election, a spinal cord of democracy. I go appeal to neck. Let them look through the rank and file. Una all, una all the success and progress of this country. The integrity. The integrity of that commission is very much important. Una self no can add upon this problem we we'll get. And one thing where the National Electoral Commission get for no, all the commissioners, the one that where they administer elections, integrity critical. Now that one day una get, una no get nothing past integrity. Now una get forget a robust pattern for begin build trust in a transparent manner. Yesterday I mentioned, say, for example, the political party is on committee meeting. Since the Koinadugu by election, they don't call her. But thankfully, immediately after, as I return back now, office, then say, correspondence don't come for the PPLC meeting. It's good. 
You know why that is important? Now they consensus to happen. They call a multi-stakeholders platform so that nobody no go say I not be deal with the decision. So the issue of integrity and independence for some of the institution yeah, again a concern from the public. We get for do it appointments and for some of the the heads of some of the institutions yeah, where they manage the the country in democracy and governance where they come direct from the presidency. As a nation, how we go address the issue we get to do with independence and integrity if you get appointments from the president and they can say you get for serve your master? How for managing kind of situation here? Yeah? Um, thankfully, integrity is not a cheap commodity. Some people are so poor, all they get no money. So integrity is not a cheap commodity. For let people they get high moral standards, especially in this society, where then they then sharp decline, it's very, it's very, very scarce. And so we therefore look at that critically. In fact, I make the law put safeguards. They say before ever the appointments, then they happen, especially for top-notch position, top-notch space, like electoral commission, because now then they guarantee, say, this policy has to fit one this country by how they conduct the elections. So for top-notch institution, they like National Electoral Commission or any state, the law put safeguard. It say for consult widely consult political parties them so that the commonality go they say we agree on this policy now every society i've been they follow a debate in nigeria because i'm interested also in in west african politics i've been they follow a debate in nigeria immediately for the public immediately um they appoint a particular electoral commission and they say no you are partisan no no it was a no on the possible they appoint because what you do you get for good with an open mind Waiting on while you can say the national elections, watch fall white, white. You got to go with an open mind for say you are running the, um, an elections for the state, for the country. So now I make a fine for learning. Always they do background check. They say this person not forget uh, um, issues with with public office. You know for then any public office, whether they appoint them, and equally so, you know for then a political party. So evidence for abound. And evidence for about good and consultation and then the consultation not to just the political party no more. The public if they get evidence, then say for come forward with them, for bring them to the force, say the people the way that they appoint as such that they go able for carry that responsibility. So there is a lot to democracy and building consensus. Nobody not supposed to force any electoral commission upon any society by force. The people for able for determine say yes, through parliament, this person has so fit for take this position. And we get trust. Now, I make way then they say dwindling trust. If you fail for build consensus, then people will say, What do you force for put this person in power? We will not want her. So, dwindling trust, you get for ensure say people understand why not this person we want for put and consult them and carry them through. That is democracy. Why is, for example, in one party state and dictatorship now power? power in a democracy, is together we can do it. So, in line with this EU, then follow up um, findings where they put together some recommendation them about certain institution them. The concern of the public on other than other source don't be one key thing or topic of discussion on this EU. Then follow up findings and recommendation them. You think say that's an area where people for focus on, or rather than waiting and for not? In fact, when you talk about source, you see anybody will ask for source. They know they even do research. Because right now, if I want to know the source, they, even the European Union Facebook page, then get photo evidence, not to even writing, not to script, to, not to narrative, photo evidence of all who that they talk to. All who that. They didn't have the Facebook page. So waiting at this team of source, waiting at the source. But the view they go the same. evidence, the evidence for me, right? Mm. And the source, when they talk about For me, the source no matter. Elect them go, elect not to European Union come. I just mentioned the same sentiment expressed all the way never. When the presentation day before, uh, um, when the, uh, um, the, the, the ECOWAS parliamentarians day, the same reaction. Did this happen in Sierra Leone? This can never happen in our country. So the same reaction. Elect not to EU come. Other experts then come on election for can do the same thing. And the same once the evidence now the same. Right. In order for change, but the, view they go the national election watch don't pull all the statements they are over time. Nothing not then are these statements we wrong. Okay. Continue for the week with Marcela Samba Sisi. Inside the program, good morning, salon. Now we they go for a break. Echo Bank, the leading bank, Nasalo, don't come. 
hey, hey, hey. This blow me mind, Bobs. You don't hear about Echo Bank, the new service to the customer them. That's not the Echo Bank Express point. When I'm going for make it easy for me and you, we don't want to go with Stemna Bank. Now that make Echo Bank Express point the plenty side near your area, like a pharmacy, shop, supermarket, and even na microfinance or any side where you see the Express point sign. But tap that, Echo Bank Express point, they give you the service where you bank the give you, even where the bank don't lock. Like you go put money, pull money, open express account, pay your bill, buy your time, receive money through Western Union, and send and receive money through rapid transfer. When an Echo Bank day your money transfer service, where they operate at 33 African country them, also Echo Bank day, and you don't need for carry any foreign currency. Echo Bank care about you. You just go to any side with an agent and the express point sign day today for easy banking, easy access. No yagba. Echo Bank. Echo Bank, the Pan African Bank. When you buy and service your Toyota vehicle to the right people, them you know they get one a that. And that's Nasika Motors Sierra Leone Limited, na 21 Bible Road, Kisi Fitong. Sika Motors, na the only authorized distributor for Toyota vehicle and genuine Toyota spare parts, them na the country. For Toyota Motors Corporation at Japan. Then vehicle and design for meet the weather condition at this country. Then make them vehicle then specially for meet the utility, commercial, private, and executive vehicular need. You go get three year or 100,000 kilometer warranty. In what's up though, you go get license and registration with free regular service up to 15,000 kilometer for any Toyota vehicle where you buy from Sika Motors. With the state-of-the-art workshop, we get modern diagnostic machine them, together with trained technician them, go give you vehicle the service precision where in need, where that go give you the collat where you deserve. For no more but Sika Motors Alone Limited, go na number 21 Bible Railroad Kisi Fritong. Telephone 088-012-350 and 088-012-355. Sika Motor Silo Limited, the party where you for believe, forget original and quality Toyota vehicle and spear parts them. Alright, the program Good Morning Salon, they continue. We come back to Reverend James Elahai from the National um, Election Watch New, United National Coordinator. Now, um, just quickly tell listeners them and set the election management body them with a listen. Why for take these recommendations and we come up from the EU serious, from the EU elections follow-up mission? Why for take them serious? Thank you, Mabel. I actually want to balance that you question me because this, the, this public discourse a day now to the normal citizens. We know if you know what's in the inside this press release. I want to share them to the public so that we possibly go talk to them. Then self will see where we'll be every what's in the inside. It. Number one, the press release say, the need for let them go back to the constitutional review and do something is still remain. It not still remain. The white people don't come out. They don't come out it. And then they say timely disclosure of the white paper. Now condition for transparency and accountability. We don't get them. You know really. You see, uh, they say decrease the in the trust. Let us look at the Kabbalah election. Who said next staff change figure from 49 to 149? Would I will go trust that kind of institution again? In order in decline, then we they talk about the judiciary. Right now, they arrest four people after that by election in Kabbalah. Thirty days, then they are then they are then they are then they are then they in court. Why is the court they go on the magistrate talk openly say he don't get order from above for say they for send their people then they cannot free to they send them cannot you know then see how people they deny 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 let them look at the facts and see if them facts are not too true at all uh, uh, that by election they don't talk about them now calls for level land with lessons and neck before then they make defense defense. I'm glad the way Marcella don't talk to so they don't call for the PPLC meeting for camp. From that same day, PPLC meeting are every two weeks. From that same day, they don't call PPLC meeting yet. 
Why? So, so for next, they say no for use that one instance in Akwenadugu for judge them. Okay, After no, we no. then say they don't hold different elections, then we according to them, then classify the election, then they ask clean elections then. Well, inside elections, one small mistake what you do. All what you do, you don't point. So let me not dwell on past three. This one, we don't let me repeat again. Let me say repeat again. Sorry for the English. <laughs> Uh, they say government get role for play for ensure say their institutions there they sit up. Now they rule for make sure say their institutions there they sit up straight. I really want to look at the one by one. Rule. The public they say the public elections act section 146.4 talks say where they nullify the outcome of an election. Now other election for take place. Now so it be for them train people there. You see, uh, 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 people who then decide their development plans for this country, who still will get for get election. The midterm census not start itself. By the time they don't, this government will still there. If you get for the same background, now they don't renew the mandate. Now this process, now you get for provide data for guide them. You see, some of them see the way people they go and talk, talk, talk. Now we look at the issues where the people they mention inside this thing they are so. so and then Government, we don't say, then they establish a trust fund for neck. What for make neck no go strain for do the work? But say now, the ministry no tell neck it how this year get for can be that way to save not the day yet. And then the issue of the voter register. Say now, we don't know who side the NCR really go. And at the election, we go to so, see. Now, the things that this they don't mention in this press release. So, for so what's in there inside this press release? So. Where they make people that they holler. What's in the inside it? So from what you don't mention from the um, press release, we state the findings and recommendations of EU then follow up. It clear say issues of them why I don't do for a long time. If institutions or head of institutions them, we be done they previously not able to get a right way back. Why you think say them forget a right now in a hurry? Not only in a hurry, oh. You just said no say we don't begin the panel. From all the panel, now we still the panel. And we are, we are gaining. But people for let, wait, at the time you say it is not in vain, we they succeed. Imagine the 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 the, the PPLC they be don't stop at the caller. When Marcella can already we talk to no more, we go meet 11 o'clock. Now, Mickey represent you, we will go meet today. So, it means when would they do that thing there, it get impact, and so now we will continue for do. But people believe so that they pile more pressure now rather than previously because the EU recommendations them not now they don't they come out and only come out in other previous time them. But people say on a presence so they come out like this way, how now they do so. I go on let you go back to the archives because we are people we are getting respect for for the archives. We are going there and they know if what we are doing now is different from what we have been doing. So, why then for take the findings them at this stage very serious? It Why has been it has been very serious at all stages, and it will continue to be serious. So the institutions, then, we, for example, they indict now the press release. Waiting on the civil society members and they expect of the institutions here. Yeah. Would they expect them for them to look inside themselves back, embrace themselves up, for let them able execute the mandate as the law say without fear of evil. Okay, plenty thank you to you, um, Reverend James Lahai, National Coordinator on you. Quickly over to you, Marcella. One thing we need for me clear now, the different thing that we state inside EU follow up in terms of the findings and recommendation. And no, no, I mean, blind to the view for say most of the internet are in you, we don't they point out to government and also to the public any way any election happen. So people or the make and clear now for say all of them things here, not only just channel them through, through EU. Because I feel say if una talk, government and other body then we're supposed to act and do the right thing, not go take the right decision. Now the current government, we don't see an alien on the program. The current government, all them positions there. So the new direction manifesto, it quotes and champion the constitutional review in a very positive and progressive term. But they don't depart from that one day. 
all them things so we reverend take to Allah because now that's purposely we can't do now the studio this morning. We say that we educate the public. Whatever the statement say, not to anything far fetched. This statement now for consolidates with democracy. We get a lot of work for do. Instead of with the move around, they cry down at this person talk, now this person talk. The issue of who that talk no matter. The evidence now matter. So whether a national elections watch statement and this statement would I mean people go for dig them up. More missions then get for come. They get for dig up a lot of information. But we want for I mean appeal to we leaders them. Leaders them from the side of government, the institutions of the states where the trust level don't go down, the political parties, civil society, every other person will get a stake in this and also the international community. Me want for appeal to them as the chairperson for national elections. Watch, do you allow put democracy high on the agenda? Democracy now they bring peace. Democracy now they bring participation. This world where they go so you not good for we country. We don't see at times without number. So let we not take one uh, um a couple not to one thing safe. A couple of things we don't go wrong so and allow this country for 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 degenerate. Let me hold this country with two hands. Let me look at the issues here critically. We I mean let me ensure say the issue of constitutional review we address them. Let me ensure say the women's uh, 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 um, the gender empowerment bill where they done before parliament. Let me ensure say that bill they go through and it pass. These are democratic progress. In mm -hmm. fact, follow up missions in elections now phenomenon where they ensure say then they benchmark election progress so that it don't make sense. If EU don't put 29 recommendation in 2018 then and come back on the eve of 2023 for come Put that same recommendation be now. I make them don't institute waiting and call follow up missions in electoral co uh, 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 processes, electoral observation processes, and also EU no more don't call. Come away with self immediately after the elections. We're uh, gonna bring so, money, <coughs> we form the tax force, and a number of things don't happen. So let me look at that progress day. And I want to end with his excellency statement. He said we would engage and also. Look at the institution, yeah, the judiciary, and the police so that they could be independent. If Una don't meet them bad, Una not left them bad, Una promise we a new direction, Una invest in her, let it go better with all. all right. I don't know more with this. Many thanks to you, Masala Samba Sisi and Reverend James Elahai. We are joining the program this morning as we look at the issues we get for doing the findings and we come out of the EU elections, follow-up mission, and self-recommendation we make. Now, this edition of the program, good morning, Salon Golefuna, plenty thank you to the production team, Alex Lawrence Koroma and Michael Sambola produced the program, DJ Ahmad Gui, technical support, Moses Kavra, make on us live on Facebook, so we meet again. May welcome you, so get yourself a wonderful day, goodbye. And it's up to you, Kalanda says, stay tuned to this frequency. Bye-bye.